D.C.'s conditional sale order went before a federal judge in Tampa. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King tells us what came out of that hearing and when we expect a ruling to come down. We heard arguments from the state and the CDC, and the state argues that the conditional sailing order goes above and beyond the scope of the CDC, but the CDC pushed back and says they've outlined a plan for a return to cruising and that it's entirely within the cruise line industry's hands. That conditional sailing order would require cruise lines to either operate a simulated test voyage carrying volunteer passengers, or in order to bypass that, it would require 98% of crew and 95% of passengers to be fully vaccinated on the ship. But the state argues this conditional sailing order should be rid of altogether, saying the industry has the ability to regulate themselves. The CEO of Port Canaveral was in the hearing, and he argues the CDC's orders are inconsistent. I can get in an Uber, go to the airport, change planes in Atlanta, fly to Las Vegas, go to a casino, check in, play the tables every day, eat in the restaurants every day, never leave the hotel, get back in a plane, take another plane to Atlanta, get home, take another Uber. What's the difference in that and going on a cruise ship? except that a cruise ship is a contained bubble. Everybody's been tested before they get on. On the other hand, the CDC argues they've laid out a return to cruise plan, and they argue that the fate of the cruise line industry is entirely within their hands so long as they meet the guidelines. Now, the judge did state the question that at what point does the CDC's timeline for its order become unreasonable? That's something he'll mull over as he makes his decision, and he says he'll do that as quickly as possible. Reporting in Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News.